Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. On the first part of this video here, I am actually doing the voiceover um, because I tried to explain how this swap worked among the four people that are in it and it was confusing when I listened back to it. So I thought I would try to explain it in a way that you might be able to understand, I'm hoping. So, in Fifty Shades of Crazy Crafters, the administrators of the group, back in the early part of this year, decided that we were going to do a Prima Doll swap. At the time, we had five administrators, and since then, one has left our group, so there are four of us left from that, um, from the original administration so we're on, there's only four of us actually in the swap we do have other uh, members now of our administration team and uh, moderators but they are not in this group um, because we had planned this so long ago but what we uh, decided that we would do is we would um, share prima dolls um, with each other representing ourselves and the three other members of our group. So here in front of me, I have four boxes and each one has a different person represented. And then we will switch these dolls amongst the four of us so that each one of us will end up with a doll that represents each one of us. So, but each one of those dolls will be made by a different person. So, I will end up with four different dolls, one made by me, and the other three made by one of the other three members of the group. So, that might make a little bit more sense than how I was saying it because I was just talking in circles. <laughs> so, I hope you understand it. Um, it was a lot of fun to make. I really enjoyed it. And ladies, I hope you enjoy what I'll be sending you. So I'll go ahead and um, go to the part of the video where I am showing the dolls and explaining what I've done. Thanks. I used the paper pad by Prima Rose Quartz. Um, I love this paper pad. I've used it for a couple other small projects, and I've just about, it's got 30 sheets in it, and I've just about wiped it out. I love it. It's double-sided, so it was really versatile. Um, I was really able to use all the sheets that I cut into um, at one point or the other during this project for different things. Uh, my inspiration came from Bona over at Live Love Scrap. And um, she had done a tutorial on these little match boxes that hold the Prima dolls. And her doll, um, she had put it on one of the armoire tags, which is by Prima as well. And you'll see that in just a moment. So I definitely was inspired by Bona. And I really like the way these turned out. And I hope the girls like them as well. So I'll go ahead and set all of them aside but one. And they're all pretty much the same as far as decorating. It just might be with different colors. But I can leave this on because it's loosely tied. But here at the top, it says, I love you. Let's see. I love you. Love you. Pretty much it just says, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And it's, um, you know, a heart. And I've added some flowers here. These little, little flowers here are from... Um, Hobby Lobby. They're by Paper, um, let's see, Papery, I think is what it's called. Um, and then this one, I think, came from Michael's. And then I put some flat back pearls. And then this little um, bling right here is starting to be one of my favorite blings. They're called Sugar Dots, and you get them at AC Moore. And I just love them. There's not much I buy at AC Moore, but I have bought these. I bought four packs in different colors, and I think I definitely will be going back and getting more of them. So I'll go ahead and pull out the doll. And this is going to be Lisa. Little Miss Scrappy. And this is actually going to Tina. So I'm sending my Lisa doll to Tina at Start Neighbor. 
Um, this embellishment down here, um, I was gifted by Donna Jersey. Um, we did a swap and she gave me a lot of beautiful embellishments, but this was one of them. Um, I used both of them that look like this in this project and I just love them. I made a little purse right here to hang over the door and then I just put a flower that would be kind of like a wreath on the armoire door. And then there is Lisa. Um, I cannot remember. Is this Taylor maybe? The Prima Dot is Taylor, um, I believe. Um, and I used the paper to cut out her dress. And then I um, colored her pants in with a uh, glitter marker. And matched that with her shoes and with her headband. I watercolored her hair and her skin with um, my Prima watercolor pencils. And then I used the watercolor brush, the water, um, let's see if I can, this thing right here to smooth it out. And I really, that is my preferred style of watercoloring. I have watercolor with paints. Haven't had a lot of success with that, but I really like watercolor pencils and, and you know, blending them with the water brush like that. So, but as you can see, it has an L up here for Lisa. And then it just fits right down in this little box here. And Bona has the tutorial, the measurements, and everything for these boxes. Um, these tags I bought at Expo back in July when I went to Atlanta with Shaniqua or to uh, Duluth with Shaniqua. Um, I've always wanted these tags. Every time I went to order them, they were out. So I was really tickled when I was able to buy them there. Um, so it just goes very easily back together. And um, I just love, you know, the way it turned out. Um, and the box allows plenty of room for the dimensional pieces that you put on the tag. And then I just tied it with some grass cream ribbon. I bought this ribbon at a thrift store um, and it has like 50 yards on it and I never know what to use it for but it's perfect to tie packages and stuff like that and I've still got a ton of it. Um, and this also has right here on the bottom you can see where it has the little pull and you just pull out your box like that. Real simple to make. She um, used it, um, she made it using the envelope punch board. So I will link Bona's tutorial down below in the description box and um, you can go over and check out that tutorial if you uh, want to make one of these. Next is this one and like I said it was all with the same paper pad. Um, I used a different ribbon on this. This is like a, a lace ribbon. I tied it around a couple times, wrapped it around the back a couple of times and then just knotted it off there. Same thing here with the papery bows from, or uh, flowers from uh, Hobby Lobby and then a flower from Michaels, the sugar dot that I love, flyback pearls, and then I added some just um, pearl trim there um, that I picked up I think at, mm, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby back in the ribbon section. This one is Tina. I can't remember which one this one was. So this doll, Tina will go to Lisa um, and here are the flowers on this one down here, a sugar dot and some flat back pearls. I put pearls for the handles here and I just put two flowers there on her door, the armor door, and there she is. And I thought she turned out really pretty. Tina, that, I know that's probably not the color of your hair, but I was kind of experimenting. I had it more red and I know you don't have red hair. Tina has blonde hair. I think brownish blonde, probably about my color. Um, but anyway, so I tried to add some brown, but anyway, I hope you like how you have been represented and this will, like I said, go to Lisa. 
I'm just really tickled with how they turned out. I have struggled over what I was going to do for this project, and um, we didn't really have the date we said. You know, we planned it back in the um, late winter, early spring, and we said, well, sometime in the summer, and summer got away with me, and I'm just now getting them done. So, um, but anyway, it's okay, my friends understand. Again, the pull there, that pulls out. Next is, I guess this is Shaniqua, and I'm keeping this one, um, and it will go in my um, full cabinet that I'm going to be, I already have the cabinet, but I haven't finished my craft room, so the cabinet is at my um, daughter's house, and um, that's where it will stay until I bring it here to um, put all of my stuff in after we get our room in there finished. Um, but I'll show that to you guys when I get it finished because I want you to see all the pretty things people have made me and sent me and I've tried to keep everything covered so it wouldn't get dusty or get torn up. So this one says let life surprise you and it has some flowers, the same thing, sugar dots, the um, pearls and then the ribbon over it. And this is Shaniqua. And like I said, I'll be keeping her doll. I put some flowers down here. Put a little tag that says so lovely. A little flower there on that door. And then this is just supposed to be just like some kind of hanging over the door. Like a long necklace or something. thought it looked pretty. And then there she is. And I added some flyback pearls there at the top as well. I just really enjoy putting these girls together and especially doing the watercoloring. I'm really getting into that with my stamps. And so um, if you guys don't already color stamps or you don't stamp because you don't like coloring or are not sure about it, try the watercolor pencils and the water brush. Um, or I think it's actually called an aqua brush. But I really like doing it that way and it just really turns out. And just the more you do it, the better you get at it. But anyway, so that is Shaniqua. Like I said, I hope the ladies like these um, as much as I enjoyed working on them because it was, I spent my whole day, the whole day yesterday, and then I finished this morning. Okay, and then this is me, and this one will actually go to Shaniqua. Um, and so this one says, Choose Kindness, and I thought that was fitting since I just finished my kindness challenge. I, I really do try to always be kind to people, and I always try to encourage people to be kind to others and to each other. Um, that's something I've always drilled in my kids' heads, is just always be nice to people. There's no reason to be mean. Um, but anyway, so I thought that girl was so pretty, so I just left one flower on this box. And then here you will see where I used that other um, embellishment that Donna Jersey sent. There on this um, part of the armoire. And then over here, there's a little pocket book. And it just hangs right over the door. Um, down here is just a cluster of flowers, Michael's flowers, the sugar dots. Oh, I just love those things. You can't see it here, but it is just glittering so pretty, and the colors that's coming off of it is just to die for. You guys will have to check those out. They're called sugar dots, and they are at AC Moore. And up here, I put my initial uh, R for Robin, and then this is how it looks on the inside. And I think this girl is Tasha, maybe. So, Taylor and Tasha, um, if I'm wrong, I'll correct that. And I will um, put it in the description box. But um, I really like, like both of those dolls. I did my dolls very first, then my piece and everything. Still had them intact on the paper. And that was the last thing I did before I started decorating the boxes was cutting out 
um, the dolls and I, it took me forever because I did not want to mess them up. I had worked so hard and I just did not want to mess them up. Um, but anyway, that is my share. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I will link bonus tutorial down in the description box. Um, please go over and check it out. She is so, so talented. Um, and just, it looks like to me that everything just comes so natural to her when it comes to making anything. She does some beautiful work. I follow her not only on YouTube, I also follow her on Instagram. And um, over there she is um, Bona River Tran uh, or Rivetran. But if you go to her channel here on YouTube, she will have a link to her um, Instagram. So you can go over there and follow her there as well. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for right now. Um, I just wanted to share these uh, before I prepare to get them boxed up and sent out over the next week or two. I have some other projects that have to go with some of them. Some of them I don't. So um, some will go out sooner than others. But anyway, um, and my friends, if these are coming to, I hope you guys like them. I really enjoyed making them, and I hope that you will be able to um, proudly display them um, with all the other girls that you all have made. I've really enjoyed this swap. It's been awesome, and I'm looking forward to doing more. Okay, you guys have a great evening and a wonderful week. Be blessed.